So yeah, um, Neil, you know, speak on your contemporaries. You know, that that would be really cool. Oh, oh, of course. I think they're all very funny, and I idolize all of them. And though we compete for the same audience, there's no resentment, there's no hard feelings, and most of all, no bitterness at their success. In fact, I wish them all the best of luck. Yeah, that, that's really cool. A lot of the, a lot of the cool artists that I talk to. You know, it's really cool because they just, you know, they're so cool. They don't have any jealousy towards each other, man, and, you know. They all just help each other out and trying to get the same audience. It's it's really cool. Uh, anyway, so um, you're on tour, Neil. What's life on the road like? Hmm. Very dangerous, actually, with all the cars whizzing by. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, bro. Oh, well, thank you. But seriously, this has been a grueling tour. It's, uh, it's very hard to relax when you're giving it your all, night after night, town after town. I mean, yeah, it's really all about the after party. I mean, who cares about the show, right, Neil? <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. Uh, actually, this is my favorite city in the whole country. I've uh, played here many times over the years, and the crowds have always been very supportive. And the accommodations aren't bad either. For instance, there's an intimate little restaurant in town here that I just love. Yeah, Brooklyn has a lot of um, good restaurants, but you know, I know what you're saying about just the culture of this town. It's just, you come here and you're just so cultured, like right off the bat, you know, a lot of culture here. And I mean, I know that a lot of the cities that you've been on this tour really don't compete with this one, but um, I don't know, do you have like any anecdotes, any, you know, other, you know, funny stories you can let the listeners in this cultured place we live in here you know let them in on you know what's what goes on sure my manager's aggressive about getting me bookings as you know i perform about 350 nights a year anyway so he says the other day neil there aren't enough comedy clubs in this country to keep you booked year round what do you say we book you in a topless joint and i said what do you mean why would anybody pay to see me in a topless joint and you gotta realize art's got an accent and he lays it on thick he says because you can't top this great humor. Uh, I don't know, man. Um, a woman topless, Neil, that's like, that's some sexist shit. <laughs>